My name is Diane Pottinger, and I'm a, what you consider a celebrity makeup artist here in New York City. I'm Paul Halsey, and I work in educational publishing. My name is Nastasha Drobnika. I am 30 years old. My name is Natalie Parrott. I'm 27 years old, and I currently work as a general manager and associate producer for an online news media company. I'm Alex Shine. I'm currently a full-time graduate student in media studies at the New School. Uh, I'm also an independent musician and have been working as a freelance editor and videographer for the past few years. My name is Rahinur Akhtar. I'm a journalism student in Baruch College. I'm about to graduate in this semester and I'm looking for a job. My mom was, um, as I say, a hustler. I knew her earlier on. She worked at the store and as kids would go help her, to make her commission. Back in the early, I think, 80s, that was no longer, so she had to figure a way to feed her seven kids, so it was a hustle. My, my father was a welder his entire life, and my stepmother was a solderer her entire life. My parents have both worked in the same job for over 30 years, and actually at the same company. They, uh, my father is a mechanical and a chemical engineer, uh, and he's also a plant manager. And my mother works in sales for a, uh, a large international bare wire company, the only company actually in our hometown. My mother uh, is actually an academic. She uh, went to Cornell as an undergraduate, went later got her doctorate in industrial organizational psychology from NYU. Um, but my grandfather actually was able to give her that education uh, as a crane operator. My father was a mechanical engineer turned pharmacist, and my mom has been she is a court reporter and works for the Broward County Courthouse. I born and raised in Bangladesh in a family where uh, with my other four sisters and my father was a uh, account controller. So I came from a background where I never faced any problem. At first you would start on as a vendor, which in, for me that was great because then I get to, it's that I'm, I run my own business, which in, that was great, I love the idea. But as you got into it, the new year, oh, we're going to have to start, um, put you on the payroll where we're going to start taking your taxes. So my thing was, you can't do that because I'm not, I'm not listed as an employer of you. I'm just a vendor. Later on, you're stated that, well, this is how it's going to be going because of, you know, the audits and what they have to do to, because of accounting. And with the 2008 downturn, it was like everything else got turned around where it wasn't in our favor. So it's like you're working more like a permanent lancer then, because you're a permanent staff, but you're given a freelance benefits. The work I do now is as a, um, as a freelance videographer, editor, camera person. I work, I think I would say four or five different jobs at any given time um, as a way to make sure that I can pay the bills and stay in New York City and live and survive. I work at a restaurant and then with, within my own company I make um, commercials and I suppose you would call them passion videos for nonprofits and uh, small companies that want a, um, want a video for their uh, website. I had a number of jobs in educational publishing. I started out doing page layout. Uh, then I went into editorial services, then I went into media technology, and uh, most recently I was a production manager. So yeah, in any given week, I would say I probably balance between four or five different jobs, whether they be editing or they be educational based, um, you know, they be jobs through the school that I currently have. So it's definitely, I, and I think trying to keep everything um, together mentally is always a challenge. My parents don't really, um they certainly don't understand the uh, the time that I live in, and they don't understand my choices. I had at least four to five different jobs before I land to this job, which is not ideally my, uh, ideally not the job I was looking for. Since I'm in school, I'm doing it to pay my tuition and also um, to pay my rent. And at the end of the month, it's like, it's hard to, maintain to balance everything. I worked at um, McGraw-Hill for 10 years on a, con on a yearly contract and uh, that was great but then when I got laid off I, I, I received no severance pay and then since that time all my jobs have been project-based and so every time a project is over I have to look for another job. Right now I have nothing coming in. I was collecting unemployment 
Um, I did have some profit sharing from one of my last jobs that I've used up. So uh, at this point, I have nothing. And, that, and that's why I had to uh, file for welfare and food stamps this morning. So I don't have medical insurance. I haven't had it since I finished uh, my graduate program a year ago. And um, I was hoping that I would be able to uh, qualify for something affordable through Obamacare. But with the, uh, the research that I did and the, uh, the beginning steps that I took, I realized that there was no way that I could afford the plans that were available to me. I ride a bike uh, in New York City as a way to save money, but also as a way to stay healthy. Um, but if I, you know, break a bone or even just find out that I'm sick with something that I need medical care for, I really can't stay in New York, I can't continue working and I'll have to move home or in with one of my sisters for a while. Uh, for a while. I'm looking at it like, it's a choice I made, you know, because I could have stayed in a 9 to 5 with all the benefits there is, with the burden of making your goal, getting to work on time, clocking in, versus just having your freedom to do your own will. So because I chose this route to be free, then I have to figure out how I'm going to set up myself for the future. And that's when it comes to play where you're just going to have to think outside the box as what you need to do. Being an immigrant also, um, I'm just, just scared about my future. I definitely want to do so many things, as I mentioned earlier, that I want to become a powerful woman first. And I, I want to become an independent person as well. But I'm just not sure the door will be open for me. I don't think it's a phase. I think a lot of what, when we look back, especially since 9-11, and we look back, you know, uh, with the economic crisis that's occurred, what we really see is a, sh is a shifting of mentality in terms of, you know, uh, the middle class drying up, um, the ideas of work and competition that I think a very corporate mindset has instilled in our generation, that we all need to brand ourselves, we all operate like corporations, um, has created a very different environment in terms of work um, that used to be more communal based. Um, there was more security and now it's basically, you know, yeah, kind of dog eat dog. I don't know what happens next. I mean, I really, I, like I'm shocked to find myself in this position. I, I thought when I, when I first got laid off, I thought I was going to find something right away. And then when I didn't, it, it just seems like every month that goes by, I'm just more and more incredulous. Oh my God, fear is crippling. So it's a case where, you know, you just have to put fear in the, learn to just throw fear behind you and just move ahead. But honestly, I, I often feel very hopeless, uh, helpless and hopeless. Um, I, I would love to begin putting money towards a retirement plan. I would love to have health insurance um, that I could afford. And I'd really love not to have close to $100,000 in student debt, but, um, but that's not the case. What does it mean to be constantly multitasking? What does it mean to never be able to put your concentration and focus into one area, but constantly feel like because the ground is not stable under your feet, you know, that you have to be you know, proficient in so many different areas? I keep picturing some like cooperative-based work or economy that, that um, gets more and more popular. Um, I really do hope that there are better government programs for, um, to relieve student debt, to um, provide health care for, for everyone. So I, it's, I feel like things are really bleak, but I, I'm sort of surprised that I kind of feel really hopeful. I think, I think all hope is not lost just, just yet.